Hey guys, it's Danny the Medic. Welcome to the channel. Today it is about 6:30 p.m. on a Saturday night, and right here behind me it is a hotel room at the Luxor. So that's the premise. Now I'm getting hungry and I want some Chinese food. So I'm looking online and I see that one of the closest options is a、uh, a place called Noodle Bar at the Mandalay Bay. So I whipped out the menu from the website. And it says here, twenty four eighty eight for beef chow fun. Now that is like twice the price of what I would normally pay for something like this. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I, I'm 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 thinking it's kind of expensive. Maybe I won't go. Right now, on top of that, right, I scroll down and I see pictures in their gallery. And the, it looks like the portion sizes are the smallest I have seen in quite a while. I mean, like you're kidding me. That better not be what they're selling for twenty four eighty eight. You know what I mean? So, I will. I wasn't gonna go, but now I'm curious. You know, it's like is the portion that small? Because if it's that's like half size. So if if I'm paying twice as much for half the size, that is Chinese food at four times the price. I want to check this out. Maybe if I go there and see what other people you know, are receiving, you know, I grab a couple of pictures of that, and then we can go eat elsewhere. Maybe. So let's go check it out. Noodle bar at the Mandalay Bay. All right, guys. I am now seated inside the noodle shop of the Mandalay Bay. So the menu is the same as online, just one page. Not a lot of choices. Very expensive. Beef chow fun for twenty four eighty eight. So I'm gonna get the beef chow fun for twenty four eighty eight, and we'll see. Hopefully, it'll be a little bigger than the picture. All right. So I just have the beef chow fun. Beef chow fun, excellent choice. Okay. All right. So, while we're waiting for the food, now、nah, let's discuss. All right. Why is it that rich people restaurants, the portions are smaller than the working man restaurants? Why is that, guys? You know, you would think that if you pay more. You should be getting more. You know, I mean, like it's it's like double the price. I don't understand. Perhaps it's a health thing, you know, because I could just only imagine the rich people don't do a lot of physical activity. You know, they don't mow someone's lawn or chop someone's tree. You know, stuff like that. Maybe they spend most of the time in the office, you know, telling the secretary what to do, right? And that, in itself, does not burn a lot of calories. Maybe, you know, that if they ate like a working man, they're gonna be like, you know, extremely, extremely obese, you know. So to combat that. So when rich people go eat at the rich people restaurant, they give you little little portions, you know, to help them out. Do you think that's the case, guys? I mean, like, what else could it be? All right, guys. It's looking about either half or sixty percent of what I'm used to getting when I order a beef chow fun. But let's take a closer look. As you can see, it's pretty small, guys. It's pretty disappointingly small.
But perhaps if I only ate portions this size, I would be, uh, you know, a much, you know, slimmer and healthier man now. But I don't know. But how does it taste? Let's find out. So, first things first, I'm gonna try the piece of beef. Right off the top. So the beef appears to be a little lighter than what I'm used to. Kind of reminds me of pork. It's not very tasty guys. The beef was a bit dry. You would think that for flank, you know, it'll be better than that. All right, now next, the noodles. Noodles guys. Let me get some from inside. A six. It has uh, nothing wrong with it. It has some kind of sweetness to it. You know, a very unusual sweetness to it. All right, now let's try scallion. All right, all right. Here's some more beef. And again, it's kind of dry. Okay, so I'm going to finish eating the whole thing and then I'll tell you what I think. Alright, so it is not worth $24.88. It's worth more like 7 bucks. Right? I'm still so hungry. It's like I had a snack, all right? Now, I'm gonna show you what I found about the beef. So dried out, okay? It is dried out and extremely lean on the inside. You can see it is very dry. I don't know what kind of, what kind of beef this is, but this was not tasty at all. Just I'll rip it apart for you. It's just, uh, I mean, like it's just very dry and uh, not appealing at all. Not good, guys. Not good. Totally not worth twenty four eighty eight. I like even if it was eight bucks, I probably would skip this and go somewhere else. Well, that's it for the beef chow fun here at the noodle shop at the Mandalay Bay. Don't recommend it guys. Technically nothing wrong with it, you know, but you know, the portion, the price, the, the, the little off flavor with the sweetness that's, that is subjective, that part is subjective, but the really dried beef, 
you know, technically nothing wrong with that. If some people enjoy like really dry beef, you know, and dry and tough beef, there, there are people out there. They're the ones that, you know, like when you have a conversation and you say, how do you like your steak? You say, oh, I like it medium rare. And they're like, oh, how could you? It's all that blood, all that blood. And then, you know, those are the people who will enjoy this really dried and thoroughly cooked beef. All right. Now, I will end this in a positive note. They were very honest with the pictures from the website. It's just as small. All right. Have a good one, guys.